Dowling Matt Grand, and I am with the University of Kansas Hospital of Poison Control Center. Lookalikes. We have chemicals, we have drinks, food, even medication. There's a lot of things out there that resemble food products that we use every day if it's not medication, or if it's cleaning supplies, or even automotive. As you can see here, we have an everyday household common bleach. Oftentimes, what can happen is somebody can take some bleach, pour it in a glass. They have a lot in the glass, they don't use it all, so they'll set it up there to use the rest later for the next load. A child could easily walk by, see that, thinking it's something to drink, pick it up and take a swing. What we want you to do is always, always keep these chemicals in their original container. For example, here we have a Gatorade and a windshield wiper fluid. Can you tell the difference? Another automotive product, can of freeze. A lot of times when people are doing automotive work, they use old food containers because we recycle the bigger containers. We don't need them anymore. This stuff stays in the car for a while, then we take it out. We need to put it in something, so we grab the closest thing and it's easy. Again, children are not going to know the difference. Here's a couple examples of a tea and some pine salt. Just to give you an idea with them in their original containers, but how close they would look to each other if you were to put that inside. Moving on, we have actual medications and candy lookalike. We have a Sudafed and we have a small m and &M. They actually look identical to a small child. Then we also have gummy bears and gummy vitamins. They look the same, they smell the same, they taste the same. Tic Tacs and an ibuprofen. They're both orange, they're both round, they look the same to a child. In the event that somebody has gotten into something like this, call us. All the poison control 1-800-222-1000.